Hi, this video is intended as an orientation video for new users of the For Good Cause fundraising platform. Welcome, we are glad to have you as part of our family. This video will help you learn your way around our software and understand the steps to get started toward creating your first online fundraising campaign. This video is a high level introduction. You'll want to see our online knowledge base for more detailed step-by-step -step instructions on various aspects of our software. First off, let's take a look and see what you can do with For a Good Cause. For a Good Cause is a simple, effective, and affordable online fundraising platform that allows your nonprofit to accept online donations, online event registration, and conduct crowdfunding or peer-to-peer -peer campaigns. You can even sell membership or products if you like, Build as many pages and campaigns in our software that you need. It is completely unlimited. Let's jump into the software and show you around. You'll log in to your For Good Cause account at 4AGC.com. You'll log in as a nonprofit user. You would have been given a login by us or by another member of your nonprofit. I'm going to tab over to a uh, demo account that I'm already logged into. And let's take a look at some of the initial steps that you have to take with your account before you can create your first fundraising campaign. Before you create that first fundraising campaign, you'll need to make some initial configurations to your account or verify some configurations we've already made on your behalf. All of this is outlined in our Getting Started Guide on our online knowledge base. You can always get to our knowledge base by clicking Help in the top right uh, of our software. There's our Getting Started Guide right there. You'll need to enter some global information about your nonprofit and make sure your For Good Cause account is connected to your payment gateway so that the pages you build on our platform can process credit cards. First, click on Account on the top right. Under My Information, you'll enter some business information about your charity. Verify your address, enter a short description of what you do, enter your website and social media URLs. This global information will be used in various places on your pages. You can also update your password from this screen. Make sure to do that the first time you log in so your password is something you can remember. Next up, you'll need to make sure your account is ready to process payments. Before I show you those screens, let's look at how payments are processed on our platform. The donation or event pages you link to on our platform can accept debit cards, credit cards, and electronic check payments. We do this by connecting our platform to two traditional financial accounts that businesses use to process payments, a payment gateway and a merchant account. We connect our pages directly to the authorized.net payment gateway. Think of the payment gateway as the software equivalent to a swipe card terminal you might run your card through at a Walmart, for example. Your For Good Cause page will securely pass the credit card information to the gateway. The gateway will then virtually swipe the card and communicate to the donor's bank to see if the card should be approved. If the card is approved, then that approval is communicated back to For a Good Cause so that we can finish processing the donation. Then on a nightly basis, the Authorized.net Gateway will batch transactions from that day and send it to your merchant account. A merchant account is an account with a bank or similar provider that allows you to accept credit cards in your own name and have those funds deposited directly into your bank account. Think of a merchant account as the money mover. Based on the transactions it receives from the payment gateway, it will move that money from the donor's bank to yours. You would typically see funds from your online transactions in your bank account two to three days following the transaction date. You will see 100% of the funds deposited. Once a month, any fees uh, from the merchant account or the payment gateway, that will just automatically hit your bank account. I typically use this analogy to explain online payments on our platform. If you were to go shopping at the mall, For Good Cause is the store itself and everything in the store that makes it easy and safe to shop. 
The Authorize.net payment gateway is the cash register you swipe your card through. The merchant account is the bank truck that rolls up every night, takes the money out of the register, and puts it into your bank account for you. So to make sure you can process payments on our platform, your account must be connected to the Authorize.net gateway. This is done by entering your API login ID and your transaction key here in the payment gateway section of our platform. Right here under create payment gateway and you enter your information here. Once you do this, then our platform has the ability to communicate to Authorize.net. Once you complete this step, you also need to make sure that Authorize.net can communicate back to For Good Cause by entering our silent post URL into the Authorize.net account. This is very important if you do monthly giving with us. Uh, please see our knowledge base for articles on making these connections to Authorize.net. Most of our clients have us do all the Authorize.net configurations for them to save time and to provide additional support for them for Authorize.net at no additional cost. Contact us at support at forgoodcost.com if you want us to do that. I also encourage you to check out our uh, help articles that we have uh, on Authorize.net. These articles will help you get familiar with credit card processing in general and the functions of Authorize.net that you will use regularly such as doing refunds, voids, and managing your monthly giving profiles. Basically anything that involves the credit card processing aspects of your online fundraising. Once your account is connected to Authorize.net, you are ready to build your first online fundraising campaign. To do that, click on Campaigns on the left menu. Then you'll click on Create Campaign on the right. Then you'll tell our platform what type of campaign you are creating and it will walk you through our step-by-step -step campaign builder to help you build your pages. You can build donation pages, you can extend a donation page into peer-to-peer -peer giving or crowdfunding. In this case, you'll be building not only a donation page, but an additional page we call a landing page. A landing page allows you to tell a bigger story about your campaign. It shows a thermometer of dollars raised, and if you choose, you can invite the public to create their own fundraising pages under your campaign. We support event registration for paid and free events. You can also extend an event campaign by building a landing page to promote your event, use the thermometer, or ask the public to fundraise as part of their attendance to your event. I'll show some examples of these pages in just a moment. Let's take a look at our, the uh, configurations in our step-by-step -step campaign builder. You'll configure between three to five tabs uh, in our campaign builder depending on what type of campaign that you're building. There is no technical skill needed to build these pages. You are simply entering content and uploading images. Just to briefly touch on the different tabs here, campaign info is typically some general information about your campaign, your logo, your colors. If you're configuring a donation page, you will configure this tab. It's basically content, images, your giving levels, the basics of your donation page. If you're configuring an event campaign, you will configure an event page, basically a registration page. Again, it is content. The tickets that you're selling, coupon codes, for example. If you're doing crowdfunding or peer-to-peer -peer giving, you will configure a landing page. Again, this is just content that you're entering, some suggested items for some of your fundraisers. The final tab is notifications. These, this is just your emails that go out, your thank you emails that go out to donors, and the alerts that can come from our system to members of your staff. Once you walk yourself through our campaign builder, it'll bring you back to your list of campaigns here. 
you'll have your all your links to your pages that you built here on the left you will on the right you'll see each campaign gets its own donations or registrations report depending on what you've built I encourage you to look at the campaigns area uh, in our knowledge base we have some tutorial videos on the different types of campaigns that you can make and just some general things about your campaigns this will help get you familiar with the types of things you can build and some of the details on how you build those after you've built them you can always come back and edit any page that you need to by clicking the pencil icon to jump back into our builder let's take a look at some example pages uh, briefly to just to take a look at the, the things that you can build really the simplest thing that you can build on our platform is a donation page this would be an example here for all our donation pages they're a simple one-step process uh, for the donor they work on all devices smartphones tablets computers everything in between most everything that you see here is configurable from the administrative uh, campaign builder you'll upload a logo some initial content set your giving levels your color scheme you can do gift designations if you choose tribute giving if you choose we certainly take all the donors contact information for you you can build custom fields as you go you can even ask donors to bump their gift up an extra amount to help you cover tr your transaction expenses let's run through a dummy gift so I can show you the the typical thank you screen when a donor clicks to donate at that point they will get an email thank you from the system that can come from any email address you like with any thank you message that you like we will append a record of the gift to that your organization will get email alerts that can, can come to as many staff members as you like and the donor is presented with this thank you screen you'll have an opportunity to configure a thank you message on here certainly this is a printable page with their all the information they need uh, to have a record of their gift the rest of what we're trying to do on this page is amplify the gift so we have some social media sharing on here so they can share your website and the reasons that they gave with friends and family on virtually any site you can imagine we will connect them up to your social media pages back to your website that's some of that global information that you entered that I mentioned earlier and we do have a partnership with a company called double the donation this is a matching gift company I encourage you to look at our knowledge base to get more details on this particular item but it's basically a way that donors can see if their employer will match the gift that they just made let's take a look at one of our landing pages a landing page you would enable on your campaign if you're doing crowdfunding peer-to-peer -peer giving or maybe you just want to tell a bigger story about your campaign have the opportunity for more content or display our fundraising thermometer you'll see this page keeps track of progress against that goal all the donations that have been made donors can make comments to this page if they gave through here you have an opportunity for some additional content uh, to tell the story of your campaign and if you have peer-to-peer -peer giving uh, turned on then it enables fundraisers from the public to create their own fundraising pages with their own story so that they can fundraise on your behalf we support both individual fundraisers and team fundraisers really the only difference between those two pages team fundraising pages can have other pages connected to them so that those totals also appear on the team page let's take a look at the event registration side of for a good cause here's an example an organization doing a bolt-on this is an example of their event registration page and they have uh, they're basically selling uh, basically free registration and some sponsorships that you would have to pay for very similar to our donation pages 
you still have some content that you're loading in but instead of asking donors to make a gift you're asking them to purchase something a ticket a sponsorship really you can use these pages to sell anything that you want you can even turn off the map turn off the date time location and you've created an order form for perhaps member selling membership or products the user chooses what they want to buy they can always add a donation on top of their order they click the checkout we organize their order for them we take the buyers information and you can even set up custom fields that are associated with products uh, if you like for example when I sell registration I want to know the team name and the team members similar process once you click register the donor gets a nice email thank you you guys get email alerts and uh, the nice thank you screen and we of course to record every transaction in our reporting which I'll show you in just a moment if I click to go to the top of this campaign uh, you'll see the example of using the landing page with an event I've got pretty much everything turned on here I've got a call to action from this page to register I can also become a fundraiser to create my own fundraising page. I've even got a donation page turned on on this campaign. So if I cannot attend, I can just make a donation to the campaign. Let's take a look at uh, the rest of the For Good Cause platform. Click on Donations on the left menu to get a global donations report. This report will show you all your donations from the last 30 days with the most recent donation on top. Each record can be viewed, edited, and deleted if you need to. You can also add new donations uh, if you get an offline gift that needs to be represented on a campaign landing page do that through this button here you have some search filters that you can use to find particular transactions you could do keyword searching date range searching when you have a data set that you want you can download it into Excel or CSV if I click on registrations you'll see you also get a registrations report this will output all your transactions from your event pages all the same search and download capabilities apply Click on Donors if you want to download just the contact information on your online donors into Excel or CSV. Click on Revenue to see the total dollars flowing through our platform over a date range. And you'll get a breakdown of average transaction size, a breakdown from one, verse, one time versus recurring. Click on Gift Designations to keep a list of funds or programs you might want donors to give to keeping a list here makes it easy to apply these items inside each of your campaigns under notification emails you can keep a list of staff email addresses that should be alerted when transactions happen again you will apply these emails inside each of your campaigns You can add other staff members to For a Good Cause if you have permissions to do that by clicking Nonprofit Users. You'll click Create Nonprofit User, and you can set them up as an administrator, which is Read and Write Access, or you can set them up with Read Only Access. If you are doing peer to peer fundraising, you'll have access to all the pages created by your fundraisers here under fundraiser pages you can moderate any content if you have to by clicking the pencil icon next to each page and you'll see I have access to all the content that's out there on that page you can even create new fundraiser pages here under this button uh, if you need to under fundraiser users you'll have access to the name and email of anyone who's fundraising for you 
The integration section uh, for a good cause uh, enables you to turn on some integrations we have with other platforms and services. I showed you the double the donation matching gift tool. Once you're signed up for that, it is very easy to turn that on in our platform so that that appears on all your thank you screens. You can enable a connection to your Google Analytics account if you use that to track your web traffic. Enabling this integration will allow you to um, get web traffic data from For a Good Cause into your Google Analytics account so you can track where your donation page visitors are coming from. This certainly can help you improve your online marketing. Finally, we have an integration with a company called Zapier. Zapier is a service that allows you to integrate separate web apps or databases. For a Good Cause is an app on the Zapier platform. You can use Zapier to listen to For a Good Cause for new donations or registrations. Then you can automatically send that data to any of the 800 plus other apps on their platform such as QuickBooks, Salesforce, or major email programs like Constant Contact or MailChimp. Use this integration to automatically export data from For a Good Cause to the other tools and databases you use every day. Again, you will find tons of help under our help link at the top right to take you into our online knowledge base. Um, we have articles on pretty much all the features that I mentioned in this video and are posting new articles every every single week. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at forgoodcause.com or call us at 770-517-5962. Do not hesitate to reach out with those questions. We are here to help. We are so glad to have you as part of our family. Thank you for your business and thanks for watching this video.